Okay, we're sitting here today with AJ Jacobs, who has done some fantastic things with his books prior. A lot of people know you for um, the Know It All, your your foray into the Encyclopedia Britannica, all 32 books. Uh, they also know you from the Year of Living Biblically. The Year of Living Biblically. I have trouble with it too. What is up with that? The year, <laughs> that's a tough word. Can you say The it Year of Living Biblically. Thank I you. I think I've said it enough that I. Thank you. Yeah, you've been. You've just said it enough. The new one though, the Guinea Pig Diaries. I think your fans will love because. It's a number of these experiments. The title self-explanatory. How did it come about to do these shorter experiments in a single book? Well, I, I do love doing these. I love being a guinea pig and, and doing these experiments on my life and, uh, and on my patient wife that you were uh, discussing before. Uh, and so I thought, why not sort of put all of the highlights into one book and the lowlights, the ones that didn't work as well. Uh, and and uh, and show you know the weird things that happen, the funny, the hopefully poignant and and educational things that happen to me during these these month long gigs. Where did it come from? I mean, wh what's inside of you to want to try this every day? I don't know. I do. I just love. You know what? I uh, I love adventure, but I'm not much of an outdoorsman. Like I don't think I'll ever climb Everest. So th these are my Everest. This is my way of being a mountain climber. This is. You know, to sort of go on these intellectual adventures yeah. and see what happens. The the one that immediately caught my uh, eye was the one where you had to be honest. It was basically telling the truth and being exactly saying exactly what's on your mind. And, and um, you met a person named Brad Blanton. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, he is the founder of the movement, and the movement is called Radical Honesty. And as you say, you're not allowed to lie. But even more than that. Whatever's on your brain has to come out of your mouth. No filter. Yeah. So I tried this for a month. And this is probably the worst month of my life. Because <laughs> the, the name of the chapter is, I think you're fat. So that gives you sort of an idea of, of, my, of how it went. Uh, I mean, it was fascinating. And yeah. I did learn stuff. But I, I do think that there is a place for lying in our society. So how do people know when you're on one of your adventures? I mean, how do they know? that you're acting unusually or that you're telling the truth and they're thrown by something or that you're wearing. <laughs> Sometimes it's in your appearance, but other times it's part of some other deeper thing happening. How do they know? That's true. I, uh, you know, I'm just lucky that they, uh, that they stick by with me. You know, most of my friends, not all of them have stuck by me and, and my wife has, uh, has not divorced me yet. So I, I don't know. I, I, I feel very lucky. Uh, I mean, as you say, sometimes it's easy to tell, but with the radical honesty, you know, it kind of takes them aback. Yeah. Like, why are you telling me that, uh, you know, I need to take a shower or whatever? So the other one that I laughed at was um, because we talked about your wife and everyone, I'm sure, as you travel around the country talking about your books, has questions about your patient wife and how does she put up with this? But you actually tried to make it up to her by going to the Project Ideal Husband or is the chapter is actually called Whipped. <laughs> That's How'd, right. How'd that work for you? Well, that was another incredibly tough month, but very interesting. I mean, the, the, the idea was that I put her through all of this, this pain through it with my experiments, you know, the beard alone. She wouldn't, she hated that. Uh, she wouldn't kiss me for the last two months when I was, <laughs> had a beard for my Bible book. So this was a month of trying to pay her back. I'll do anything she asks. Uh, so it was a month of foot massages and Kate Hudson movies and that kind of thing. And, uh, and it was incredibly difficult because, you know, power corrupts. She, so she got carried away and she started to, you know, take advantage of yeah. it. But I did, I, I did, it did actually help our marriage because I started to see things from her perspective. You know, instead of having a knee-jerk reaction like, no, I don't want to do that. Like, I was like, all right, maybe uh, there is something to watching. Uh, you know, a Kate Hudson movie. And, uh, and and it turned out to be good for our marriage. I thought it was such a success that I wanted her to spend a month following everything that yeah. I said. How'd that go? That did not go over <laughs> so well. <laughs> so. Some of these you've written about in Esquire, and some of these I've read in articles and things outside of the book, little pieces of it. The outsourced life was one of my favorites. I mean, the fact is that in America, so much of what we do, customer service, a lot of other things are being outsourced to India. You tried to outsource your entire life to India. That's it. What did I, you have to do? Well, I, I wanted to outsource everything. Just take this idea of outsourcing and push it to the extreme. See where it would take me. So I outsourced, uh, you know, I, they ans I hired a team of people in Bangalore, India. And they, they <laughs> answered my emails. They answered my phone calls. They argued with my patient wife for me. Yeah. They read bedtime stories to my kids. So 
pretty much every part of my life was affected. And that could have been the best month of my life because I just got to sit back and read books yeah. and uh, watch a few Everybody movies. handled everything for you. Yeah, exactly. Including, in a, in a funny aside, writing your Wikipedia entry. Can you tell us a little bit about the whole Wikipedia experiment of yours too? Sure, yeah. The, uh, this was at, uh, at Esquire. I, uh, this was when Wikipedia was just starting out. And they asked, uh, I asked them to write, I wrote a piece about Wikipedia and then asked the people in Wikipedia to rewrite it for me. And, uh, and I couldn't believe what they did. They just tore it apart. So uh, it was fat. I had planted false statements in there to sort yeah. of test them and they, they caught them all. It was like within minutes there were like dozens of people attacking it. It was yeah. almost like at a picnic, you leave out like a, you know, a candy bar and then all the ants come in and they just digest That's the it. new fact checking. Like, I'm sure the magazines are paying attention. Esquire is like, hmm, maybe that's the way to, to go after That's there. a great yeah. idea. You know, I thought of doing a book which uh, I would have the Wikipedia write, you know, I would have, uh, I, I wouldn't have to write it myself. I would have like 200, 300 yeah. other people write it. But then I thought, then they might want to get paid, and uh, I don't know, maybe that's not the best no, idea. No, but it's like there isn't a payment at Wikipedia. They just are in it. <laughs> I know. It. it is. It's a remarkable thing. So, you know, over after the years, like Evil Knievel jumps, 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 and after a while his body gives out. The man can't jump anymore. He's broken every bone in his body. <laughs> He's done. Like, how long can you continue to find new adventures and keep going and trying the new thing? I mean, when does this excitement end or will it ever end? Will you keep looking for the next one? It's it's a good question. I, I know that I have one more after this uh, and hopefully it won't break my body but it might because my next one is uh, I'm going to try to be the healthiest man alive. So uh, because I figured I did the mind when I read the encyclopedia I tried to radically right. change my the mind. Smartest man of all time. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the Bible I was sort of trying to be the most, most religious. Moral man most moral man of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual, right. Uh, and then this one will be like the healthy. So mind, spirit, and body. Yeah. So that'll be the trilogy. Now, how are you going to set the parameters for that one? Well, that one, uh, I'm going to have a board of advisors. So uh, all sorts of doctors. And, and I'm, uh, I'm going to try all different things. I'm going to do the extreme low calorie diet where you eat like 1,000 calories a day. Uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to go to Sardinia and, uh, and, uh, Okinawa because they have the longest lifespan so I'm gonna try to eat like a Sardinian live like a Sardinian yeah. and see if I can Is uh, your wife survive. gonna join you on that one no? <laughs> that's another yeah, yeah. under negotiation yeah. well I'm excited about this book and they're hilarious I think anybody who picks them up what's great about this is that they're they're in small doses and there's another adventure we didn't talk about your George Washington adventure or your nude experiment and all the other things people are gonna find in here but there's great little nuggets in here, and I can't thank you enough for stopping by. Oh, I had a wonderful time. Stuff. Thank great you stuff. so much. Thanks, AJ. Great.